Hi. Hello. Will, Hello. Hi. How are you? Never. Yeah. How long should we leave? Couple minutes. No. Now. Yes. Is there some way we can get rice quickly? Yes. Yeah. 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 We've parked someone in, so if someone needs to get out and we're not there, they might get upset. So, get done, boy. Yeah. Where? Is it raw? Like, not cooked? <laughs> like this, like oh. delicious fresh corn. So now we are on the way to Danum Valley and we're following this bus because as usual every like everywhere everywhere here you have to book and you have to be organized and you have to book like some uh, ask, uh, like tours package tours uh, but it's very expensive so. and it's a very windy road <laughs> yes so uh, we negotiated with the um, with the Danau Valley Research Center so we just follow the bus to avoid to pay the transports apparently indeed it's a bumpy road so let's see and uh, we have our shopping all food as well and now Amy she's a cook so she's a driver, she's a cook, she's doing everything, she's amazing. And she's gonna make some, she's gonna cook some delicious dinner. So hopefully it's gonna be cool. I'm excited, aren't you? Yay, I'm excited too. All right, see you later. Bye. What's happening, my friend? Oh. Are we stuck? What? Is it blocked? Oh, that you like, you let the... Is that the river, you said? Like the, we have to cross. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look that deep, is it? We get flooding this morning. Oh. Yeah, so a lot of a big rock. So when you rocks, a big rock. Yeah. Oh shit! What's happening? Is that the river you have to cross? But there are big rocks apparently. Oh, that's gonna be fine. I hope. I don't know about that, to be honest. Really? So we have to cross that river with the rent rental car, it's a bit scary. I hope Noemi will be fine. Let's see that. She made it. She's a good driver, isn't she? <laughs> hey, Willie. Hey. Eyes on the road. Oh. <laughs> My God. Uh, yeah. The sky is gorgeous oh. and the road is very bumpy and very rough and hopefully we're gonna, we're gonna make it there Hey guys, so now we are in the Danum Valley it's a massive conservation area it's protected um, it's more than 43 acres so it's massive and it used to be devastated by uh, uh, logging but now it's completely protected so that's a very good news and here it's uh, a paradise if you are a botanist or just a nature lover because you will find thousands of different kind of trees especially deep terra crap cusp sorry deep terra card trees ebony trees you will find uh, ironwood trees 
and a lot of mammals including the famous aragutans and if you're lucky you will see as well tarsiers, some bad bears, some bad deers that are walking around uh, the camp you see as well flying squirrels, king cobras, uh, pro, um, red leaf monkeys, gibbons and uh, eventually pick me elephants if, if it's a season and if you're doing on a night drive maybe you can see the elusive clouded leopards which is very difficult to see but uh, you can be lucky uh, here it's a primary forest and uh, this tropical rainforest is just gorgeous there is there are, uh, there are almost 100 scientists doing some research here so it's a very nice place to come for uh, nat for nature and uh, yeah you really feel like you're back to Jurassic Park uh, it's very cool morning guys so we are we made it to the Dadam Valley and now we're going for a morning trek uh, with our lovely guide he's very cool he's very knowledgeable what's your name again Henry Henry, Henry. hello and so we're gonna try to spot some gibbons this morning and if we are lucky some aragutans finger crossed what do you think we're gonna see some <sighs> hopefully hopefully <laughs> but it's not a zoo so it's just luck because it's wildlife isn't it mm -hmm. so let's see typical rainforest in borneo yeah it's one of the oldest rainforests Oh wow, okay. The estimate is about 130 million. Years ago? Years old. Yes. Years old, sorry. Yeah. So it's one of the oldest, yeah? Wow, okay. Not the oldest one. What's the oldest one? Maliao? No. Um, Maliao is part of Borneo. So it's the same forest. Yeah. So it's the same edge with Danum Valley. Oh yeah, yeah, Maliao. the same. Uh... Yeah. I think the oldest rainforest is forgot the name but in australia oh ah, in australia mm. did you know that um i did not know that it's about <laughs> over 100, 140 million so it's a primary forest primary forest and one of the oldest tropical rainforests in the world and also our tropical rainforest also known as a deep terocarp lowland rainforest. How do you say that? D? Deep terocarp. Deep terocarp. What does that mean? Deep terocarp. Yeah. Means uh, seed to wings. Seed. Yeah. To wings. So most of uh, deep terocarp tree species. Yeah. When they are fruiting, their fruit will have a wings. So oh. When they are fallen. On the tree, yeah, like spinning, like spinning. Ah, I see. Yeah. Okay, maybe it's the same seed that you found. Yes, in yes. yep. yes. Wait, what is it? Uh, also, Metra macrocarpa or Javan cucumber. So, is it that the one you explained with the wings? Or uh, not this one? No, not this one. Okay, this one they're growing on the vine, ah. and usually they're very high on the top of the tree. And the size of the fruit is like a coconut, coconut fruit. Okay. So when they are fully mature, uh, the bottom of the fruit will open by their own and then the seed will slowly fall okay. and then will fly like a butterfly. Oh wow. Yeah. So this is a uh, Javan cucumber or also Metra macrocarpa. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. And what you can hear is a gibbon. <laughs> the smallest ape in the world. The biggest is the gorillas and then the chimpanzees and this one is very small. So I'm not sure if you can see it, but this is a gibbon. This is a gibbon. It's the smallest ape in the world. They live in a family. How many members of a family? Four, five? Four or five. Four or five. Whoa, well, strong smell. What is it? Strong smell from the oh, you smell? Oh, yeah. primate. Strong smell indeed. Smell of the orangutan.
orangutans are very clever. They can remember exactly when and where to find which kind of food, so they travel in the forest. They make a nest as well every night to sleep. It took them like three minutes to do it, and every night they change spots. Hi guys, so we got very very lucky. We saw a white orangutans in the tropical rainforest of Borneo Danam. It was magical, it was a crazy experience. I think it's the most beautiful and impressive creature I've never seen so far. Uh, it's that so cute. So to give you a bit of more information about this animal, uh, orangutan means in Malaysia, uh, the man of the forest. Um, that you can find 90% of them here in uh, Borneo and the rest they are in uh, um, another island, Sumatra. Uh, so it's actually, the, its origin is coming from Africa actually and they spend more time in the trees than any other uh, great apes. Uh, it's the largest arboreal mammal and uh, they clamp with uh, four for, with the feet, with the hands, it's a quadra manual uh, climbing. And they are very agile. They have extremely long arms, about two meters long, so it's very impressive. And uh, it's quite big, it could go up to two meters. Uh, for the females, it's 50% smaller and they have completely different shape. So the male, they have a long pads on the cheeks and actually a lot of people uh, they, they uh, thought it was two different species because they look so different um, so they are solitary they uh, live alone they are very clever they travel a lot they know they remember they can remember exactly which spots uh, they can find fruits uh, at what time of the year so they're traveling around and uh, yeah very very clever animal uh, the baby stay with the mother up to six years quite quite a long time and uh, yeah they eat if they can, 100% of their diet is fruits, but if they run out of fruits, they will eat barks, insects, uh, termite, uh, like horny termites from the eggs, leaves, um, yeah, small insects. They're mostly active during the day, and uh, at the evening, they will go on a tree, they will choose a tree, and they will beat like a nest, a platform to sleep on. And if it's raining, they will even take some leaves and create a roof to protect them. So very, very, very clever animal. So unfortunately today the number is decreasing. Uh, in the 90s, 90, there were, there were something like 50,000 orangutans in the wild. And now it went down to, it's estimated between 20 and 30,000, so it's very sad. Uh, of course it's protected, but uh, apparently, slowly, the numbers coming back uh, because we protect the habitat, but it's very not enough to protect uh, this beautiful creature and we have to do so much more before it's too late and we do this, this creature. Uh, what a cool experience, that was amazing. So that the hostel in Danam is called Danam Valley Field Center. You that the hostel, that the kitchen is two separate uh, dorms. It's one for the girls, one for the boys. Uh, you can camp here. Unfortunately, at the moment, the camping, the campsite is out of action, so we couldn't camp. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's very nice. You can book tours with uh, everything, all activities inclu included. Or you can just uh, book an accommodation and see on the on site what you want to do. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's very nice. You feel very lost in the jungle. You feel like you are in Jurassic Park. It's gorgeous. And that's our little car. Bless her. I hope she's okay. <laughs> and that's the kitchen. And look who is cooking again. Hello, yeah, Noemi. Good morning. Good morning. What, Good morning. What's on the menu? We have scrambled eggs, mushrooms, bread, baked beans. Ooh, that's gonna be delicious. I'm we can't need wait. to get the energy for a big day of a hiking. Big day of hiking. How uh, did you enjoy your morning walk this morning? 
amazing what to see this little orangutan Baba. in his face. Mm. It's cutest so things ever, isn't it? Yeah. With the big belly and the hair, it's very spiky hair as well, like messy hair, on the either. And the face, just a little smile, but... Like, yeah, like so looking cute. at you was such a cool experience, amazing. Well, let's eat and let's try to find some more. I hope we're gonna see, apparently there is a mother with a baby somewhere around, so hopefully, finger crossed, we're gonna see them. Uh, but we saw gibbons as well, they're so cute. Smallest ape in the world. From our previous experience, when we do logging too much, yes, we destroy a lot of forest, mm -hmm. and then after that, give a bad effect to our wildlife. Yeah, yeah, logging and plantation is a big problem, isn't it? Yes. But now our government already uh, take action. Take action. Control all of the plantation company. So, can you still do some uh, palm plantation, or is it now it's stopped? Now it's stopped. I mean, no more cutting forest. No more cutting forest at all. At all. So really? it's stopped already. Okay, that's good. For that's the, a good news. Good move. For the big company, for the palm oil plantation, yeah. now they need to apply a few certificates mm -hmm. for them to plant, plant more. Uh, more palm oil seeds. Where they are doing like a lot of uh, replanting projects. Replanting projects, like yeah. Like they here, uh, they try to find a lot of sponsors to buy a little bit part of land of the palm oil plantation and after that they remove the palm oil tree okay plant tree yeah so it can be like a animal corridor tree. yeah this one of the projects creating a forest yeah so the animal also can traveling from yeah. the other area of forest to the other place like What do you know about red leaf monkeys? What can you say about them? Well, um, yeah, they are one of the endemic uh, monkey. Endemic? Yeah, primates that we have in Borneo. Okay. And then uh, mostly you only can uh, find this monkey around uh, Danong Valley. Oh, so and just here in Borneo? Just in Borneo, I mean, uh, the common place where you can see this monkey in Danong Valley. Uh -huh. Other places they are a bit rare to see, uh -huh. hard to find them. And then they live in the family, uh, a group of family. How many individuals? Can be more or less ten of them. Like ten. That. Yeah, more or less like that. Uh, do they partnered for life, or are no. they loyal, or no? No, no, no? Yeah. So one dominant male can match with any female. Uh, then, okay. So not like gibbon, they are met for their life. Gibbon is for the life. Met for their life. Okay, and then, uh, yeah, we also known as a marun langur. Mostly they will eat like um, young leaf, fruits, and then uh, sometimes they also eating some of the clay soil, mm -hmm. mineral, same like the orangutan. Okay. Yeah. And then it's one of the favorite uh, prey for the clouded leopard. Oh, is it? They like to hunting this red leaf monkey. So if you look, the colors look orangutan, mm -hmm. but yeah. It's like Is it endangered? Yes, so consider like endangered species. Okay. Monkey. Yeah. Uh, very cute. Yeah, very cute. What the name again? Phil millipede. Phil millipede. Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> See. Look at that. Okay. It feels like it's hugging me. Alright. <laughs> Hi guys, well, we are looking for some aragutans and we think they are somewhere near because we found these and they actually eat the bark 
the soft part inside and then let's peel it out like that and it's quite fresh so probably they are around but we can't see them so they're probably hiding deep in the tree and we can't see them for now but we'll see if we can find them but yeah that's basically it we'll go turn eating bark trees tree bark or tree tree barks and spill them out interesting <laughs> Hi, Noemi. Hi, video diary. Yeah. I am sweating, sweating, sweating. It's hot. My t shirt is just dripping wet. Yeah. What did you see? We saw some bark that the orangutans have recently eaten. Um, it's in the trees, but they're probably hiding in the middle of the nest. Do you remember the name of this river? Is this second largest river? It's about 350 kilometers long from here out to the sea, out to the sea, that way, this way? and that way. Oh, this way? Yeah. Nice. Tunjala. Tunjala. It's a little bit tricky going backwards, no? Little bit, but... Hi! Ah. Oh! Don't fall! Leech! Oh, leeches! Ouch! These humans are for me! No, it's mine! No, it's mine! It's pretty disgusting, eh? The fish are having a feast. <laughs> Very ticklish. Now to jump in. Ooh. In this beautiful little pond for a dip after a long sweaty hike. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> nice. <laughs> What's his name? Rhinosaurus beetle. Rhinosaurus beetle. So we are trekking now under the rain. It's very muddy, it's very slippery. And we're doing a trek to go where? To, to burial site. Burial site from the engineers people. And they are called the Supan. Supan. So let's see. Apparently there is human bones remaining there. So let's see. Shoelace. <laughs> Just had to give it up. 
cut. I can see the cut. Yeah. They use the X that they made from the stone, carve it slowly, and then make a hole and put the red wood inside. So this is the har the hardest wood that we have in Borneo. We call it as a Borneo iron wood. Iron wood. Mm. Iron wood. Oh, iron wood. Iron wood. Right. So. Uh, so that was from the indigenous people living uh, yeah. in the jungle. Yeah. How many? How long ago? It's about three or four hundred years ago. Okay. Yeah. And those people, they were nomad. Yeah, they are nomadic. So it means nomadic. they are not live in one area for longer. Yeah. In certain period, they will move, keep moving. Now they are mostly live around Lahadatu area. In the city. Across the city. But what they're quite small. Yes, uh, probably maybe it belongs to the female coffin or kid. They were slim. Mm, it's very small. What about this jar there? What's that? They were doing some... Uh, probably it's for the ritual like that. Ritual yeah. to give some like for the dead like in Egypt or whatever. Yeah, they give like some if they like gifts. to give some respect, you know. Mm -hmm. like Sometimes they will go visit the cemetery to put some... Food. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Henry. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Yeah. Were you the one snoring in the dorm? No, no. no. Okay. <laughs> Someone woke me up. I think it's Henry. He was snoring a lot. <laughs> anyway, we've been told that there is a mother orangutans with her baby who built a nest just next to the camp. So it's 5 a.m. And uh, we're going to try to see them before they wake up and go into the forest to eat their breakfast. So hopefully we're gonna have the chance to see them. And uh, Noemi's drinking a very nice uh, instant coffee. Yes. The best of the best. Creme de la creme. Creme de la creme. <laughs> and here we are, let's go. Say bye, Henry. <laughs> Henry is not is it awake. Too early for you, Henry. Wake <laughs> Henry up. Can't, he doesn't want to speak. So there is a viper in the tree. It's camouflaged. It looks like green and a bit of white. Just sleeping. Very venomous, apparently. Come. You can see the hen. Come. Ah, she both the green dot. Above the green dot. Yeah. This is the nest. You can see the arm. You can see. <coughs> you see? Above the green dot. Yes, I see the nest. Yeah. You see the arm? Oh, at the top. Hang at the top. There, there, there. Yeah, it's yeah, moving. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, still asleep. Still asleep inside. Oh, yeah. Okay, where's the chairs? <laughs> that <did> you. <laughs> Oops. Here we are. Here we are. We made it home. Back, Back to the hostel. 15k trek. Oh, it was hard. <laughs> it rained and everything. So, got lucky. And what did we see? Haragutans and gibbons. And a snake. And a snake. Rhinoceros beetle. What was the name? <laughs> Rhinoceros beetle. And this pheasant as well. And we went for a lovely swim. In the pool. And, and now, now we're gonna have a beer. Yes! Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is it? Okay. The first time you saw tourists in beer. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> no problem, no problem. And this fella. What's his name? Uh, crested agamid lizard. Crested. Crested it... agamid lizard. Yeah. Crested. Yeah. Is it showing his crest? What? Crested on the yeah. top, like. Yeah. Oh, I don't 
the on the neck. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, we go closer. Wait, 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 wait. Do you have a ring yet so I can put it next to it so you can see like? Yeah, no, there's a big bit of what? You don't know? No. In France, we eat the snails <laughs> with garlic sauce. It's, it's delicious. Delicious? It's good, yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> but don't jump. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Oof. Could you imagine like coming here like on this bridge that's very, very drunk? <laughs> I oh my don't. god, you would be like moving yeah. <laughs> 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 well it's not. I'm sure you're gonna end up in the river somehow. <laughs> Leaving Danam Valley. Leaving Danam Valley. I'm the driver today. And we're gonna cross this river again. Scary. So wish us luck. So luck. Hogpuri, we're gonna make it. Bye guys! <laughs> And uh, torrential rain. Very good driver, very safe. Thank you. And we are on our way to Kinabatangan River. About four hours drive from here. We're gonna see Probiscus monkeys. Endemic to Borneo. That's gonna be cool. They have big nose, like mine. <laughs> Don't laugh. Why you laugh? <laughs> We've got about four or five hours drive, and yeah, travel day. We passed the river. We crossed the river with a car, and we made it across. And we the made road it. Safely. So I'm, I am a pilot. Pilot of the car. Pilot of the car. <laughs> Bye. Bye. We have left Dunham Valley, and we're on our way to Osman's house in the Kanapatingan River. We're like the poor people on the Titanic. Yeah. <laughs> That's our hut. Excuse us, where's the VIP room? Yeah, it's the VIP room. <laughs> <laughs> That's the chef. What are you cooking today? 